Good morning. I probably should start by introducing myself. I'm Angela, and I don't think I've done that before. And if I did, I'm sorry to repeat. Um, and this is Mirror's Dreamland. Nice little jungle over here. Um, Mirror's over there. And uh, I'd like to I'd like to start with um, the word words and uh, dictionary. And if you notice that a particular word will have several meanings. And that gives somebody the capability of actually having a play upon words when they speak to you. Therefore, making it a little difficult for maybe one person to really completely understand what they're saying. I think that is a uh, overworked tool by politicians, actors. Um, they they have this um, talent, and uh, just dawned on me that I bet you all politicians have gone through acting classes. Huh. Anyhow, um, I told you a while back about the silent weapon for quiet wars. And uh, they use uh, oh, $200 to $2,000 words in this manual. This is a manual, okay? And uh, I'm gonna read just a couple things and we're gonna go into a couple little words um, because I did get the dictionary out because I did need to comprehend what these people were actually say um, there uh, let's see here we'll do political introduction page 5 of 35 of the manual in 1954 it was a it was well recognized by those in position of authority that there is only it was only a matter of time only a few decades before the general public would be able to grasp and upset the cradle of power. For the very elements of the new silent weapon technology um, were as accessible for the uto public utopia as they were for providing a private utopia. It goes down here to energy. Energy is recognized as the key to all activity on Earth, natural science, and the study of the sources and control of natural energy. And social science theoretically expresses, express, excuse me, as economics. In the study of the sources and control of social energy, both are bookkeeping systems mathematics. Therefore, mathematics is the primary energy science, and the bookkeeper can be king if the public can be kept ignorant of the mythology of bookkeeping. Well, okay, talk about insult, uh, but the word mythology. Uh, Where'd we go? Um, mythology, the system of principles, practices, and procedures applied to any specific branch of knowledge, the branch of logic dealing with general principles of the formation of knowledge. Now, that kind of brings me to how they uh, deliberately um, changed the education system in America in particular, um, because uh, dare we become a little better than ignorant and comprehend the mythology of bookkeeping, of their bookkeeping. I'm going to go on. All science is merely a means to an end. The means is knowledge. The end is control. Beyond this remains only one issue. Who is the beneficiary? 
Now, <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop at that because um, the war has been declared back in 1948, but I'll tell you what, they declared it hundreds of years before that, and this is the thinking process of your enemy, okay? You need to know who your enemy is, and that's, um, that's going to come up on another video. Um, the Rockefeller found Foundation, I do believe it was Rockefeller, um, let me just double check, I have to make sure that name is correct. Um, oh yes, Rockefeller Foundation, the Harvard Economic Research Project, actually. So that's one one person. Um, he goes back hundreds of years. His family does. They change their names. They, um, my opinion about inbred little morons that they are, marrying their brother's daughter, and so on and so forth. And God forbid they you know, corrupt that bloodline, but let's keep it all in, uh, <laughs> warp dimension, I think. Um, the Rothschilds, that's another one I've done a lot of history studying upon. And, uh, I brought to your attention a little while ago, yesterday I think, about data banks. And I did it with the, this data bank here is what they use. So I was doing a little research on uh, my videos on YouTube. And uh, brings me to uh, ISO. Now, what is ISO? I think I could organize my notes, but you know, I'm just, I'm completely disorganized. And proudly dysfunctionally disorganized, but so now I have to find it. I will find it. ISO. We'll skip ISO for a minute. Um, the uh, it is a international <laughs> standardization of database. Okay. Can't remember the name correctly. Um, anyhow. What's going on, and what's been going on since um, the computer was designed, uh, is everything goes into a data bank. Okay, we're studied, um, and we're studied through a shock system, basically uh, manipulated, controlled, challenged, and then studied to see what we will do. Okay, our enemy is studying us. Okay, to defeat us as a human being, a race, a person, however you want to look at it, uh, is they're in for the long haul, okay? They're not, um, this is not, they've been at this a very long, long time, okay? They're in for the long haul, and they're right, just about right on track, except for the fact that there are people like me and you uh, who are trying to get the word out to those who are unfortunately not really listening very well. So it goes back to words, play on words, okay? Um, they, uh, they own uh, the publication system. So the play on words is completely within their realm of power. So when you get information in book form or newspaper, or anything written, education systems, you are told in a fashion that does not stimulate your thought process. You are not taught to think correctly, okay? My teacher once told me the day that uh, John Kennedy was assassinated, Angela, and I'm going to share this with you, because I think it's real important, is uh, no matter whatever you do in this life or confront, always ask yourself these questions. Who, what, where, when, why, and how. Okay? That gives you the time to 
research, question, come to a non-conflict conclusion, and how you're going to respond. So if you can do that, you not only give yourself the time that you need to correctly respond or act, you have a very good chance of always doing the right thing for yourself in your own protection, in your own actions. And um, I wish I'd started that a lot younger, okay? But I do do that now, and it is habitual. And habitual's not a bad thing, you know? I mean, people say you, you know, well, whatever, you <laughs> know? Sometimes the bad turns to good, and the good turns to bad, so. Um, if you do that, you will be able to process what's coming your way and know how to react and do so properly. And they, it was a thinking system that they pulled out of America deliberately because they would like to keep us ignorant and basically unquestioning them or why what's that being done for and how's it being done and when's it going to happen and why and what is it exactly and uh, do you see what I'm getting at? So try doing that uh, because it uh -huh. and, and another thing that I have noticed is that uh, I no longer reply upon my vision only rely upon my vision only I have many senses about me so I have to have a backup because sometimes what you see isn't, at least I know their capabilities and what they can do with your vision. Um, and what you hear, is it always correctly what is being your, what you're supposed to be hearing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and can I, can I ask somebody something? I'd really like an answer on this one. Because I have a, a theory, uh, it's just a thought, but if, uh, why did they change the frequency wave of the TV that people watch? I haven't watched one for 10 years, um, but the airwave that it comes upon, why did they change that? Does anybody know exactly why? And um, also, because of what HARP is doing on the airwaves and uh, who gave them ownership of those airwaves? I'd really like to know where the heck they got their permission to explore and experiment upon humanity, the human race, and not to mention the ionosphere, okay? They don't have my permission. I think they're wrong. I don't think they've gone through proper um, procedure to get the right, no, right. That's another word to look up, right. Um, what do I mean by right? I don't think they have the permission to operate the system that they're operating. And I don't agree that they should be allowed to study us like little guinea pigs in their maze, okay? Um, they are generating a uh, disaster. And along for the hundreds of years they've been at this, this is their new, one of their new tools. So. I'm just trying to kind of get little people aware about um, what's really going on and why and st start studying your history. Um, and what I do, um, okay, because somebody thinks that everything that comes on this computer is a lie, um, I research and I cross-reference my researching because uh, I'm sure that there's some lies on there because 
there are some people out there that will lie, but if I have enough cross-referencing through enough sources, and my computer is not my only tool. Um, so if you study and you've come to the truth, the non-conflicted truth, then I think you will have your answers. Um, in a little while, I'm going to get into the uh, the ISO. See, that's that is uh, they have a new security standard they're coming up with, and they are being deceitful that it is under the benefit of the businesses that they are able to track, and that is the word they use, track and trace. Um, your information. Okay, they're trying to tell you that you need to do this to succeed at your business. Okay, well, small businesses are in their hope a thing of the past. Corporations are where it's at. You'll notice they're not taxed. They're not held accountable for their behavior. They are um, I can't think of the word right now. Um, that's another thing I'm doing a little studying on, like uh, Bush not being held accountable for his crimes, okay, um, his choices. And going over into Africa, come on, you guys, don't, please don't become so distracted with the new um, attention shift of your attention because that's what that is. They're shifting your attention because they've got some very important laws that they're trying to get through right now. Okay, Pay attention to what's going on in this country with this government which is under control of a few people because it is owned. We, I'm sorry to inform you, we don't own America anymore. If we want it back, we better get smart. We better know what our enemy is up to, and we better know what they're doing, how they're doing it, when they're doing it, why they're doing it. Okay, real important. Um, I hope that you find this helpful. And I really hope that uh, I hear from somebody of you guys, some of you guys. Let me know what you think, um, because I really could use some help here. Um, I find myself uh, pulling in a lot of information. Fritz Springmeier is uh, somebody else I'd like to introduce you guys to. Um, nice history there really nice. Uh, take it in small increments because it will hurt you. It is uh, outright repulsive what these people are up to, um, but it is happening. I see it all around me. I hear it all around me. I read it all around me. I can feel it. Okay. Um, so, take in small increments, and it's called Be Wise of Serpents, okay? Uh, a lot of information, and I, uh, I hope you'll check it out. Oh, <coughs> oh, <coughs> I really need a better filing system. Um, <laughs> the, uh... You know, the Declaration of Independence. How about the uh, How about the Declaration of Independence? You can become unowned by the Crown, okay? Because really, as a U.S. citizen, Declaration of U.S. Citizenship, you are owned by the Crown. You are property of the Ten Mile section of Washington D.C which is owned by the Crown. Um, 
so you are basically under the United Nations um, ownership. Do you have a driver's license? Do you have a post office box? Do you have a mailing address? Do you have a social security number? Do you have a driver's license? Any of those make declaration of ownership to them. First, reverse that. That declares them ownership of you. So that's why they can take away your right to vote. They can um, take away whatever they want to take away because guess what? You're not a citizen of America. You're a United States citizen under ownership of the crown. Uh, Mr. Would I on YouTube can explain that very well to you. Um, check him out. A lot of info there. Um, hope you're having a good day. By the way, why did they give me more than 15 minutes? I have no idea. And I'm just a rant now. Bye-bye.